guys, it's me, Angelia, and today I filmed a really pretty neon summery, summery look with George. I hope you guys enjoy. So first I'll be using two primers today, the Hangover by Too Faced and the Dior Maximum Glow. And I'll just mix those together on the back of my hand and apply them with my fingers. In, for foundation today, I'm gonna be going for a really kind of full coverage airbrush look. And for that, I like to use the Makeup Forever Ultra HG stick. And I'm in the color 118 or Y325. And you just apply this just with the stick. And it's really blendable and easy to use. And I feel like unlike other stick foundations, it doesn't feel like greasy and gross. And I'm just gonna be using a clean beauty blender and pat it in or dab it in. and always put it on your neck. Foundation lines aren't cute. <laughs> Next, I'll be going in with my Born This Way concealer. I love this concealer because it's really hydrating and works really well for my um, really dry skin, especially during school. I'm in the color light medium. I'm also going to use it to highlight my face, so just put it under the eyes. In the center of the forehead, down the nose, cupid's bow, and chin. And then you blend that in using the same beauty blender. So to set my foundation, I always use the Laura Mercier translucent powder or the Kat Von D, the new one. I love, I love them both and I'm going to slightly bake my under eyes. I won't go too crazy and do the whole face, but just a little bit. That's all I really do for that. And then I'll just take the Kat Von D under eye concealer powder and brush it all off. I don't like to wait too long just because for like more natural, it's better because baking can sometimes make it look cakey. And just set everything on your face. And now to bring back some color into the face, I'm going to take Hoola by Benefit. I love this bronzer for every day because it just, it just looks nice. And I'm gonna put it on my cheekbones, on my forehead. and put a little bit just under your jawline. And I'll also be using my favorite blush, which is from Tarte, and it's the Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Bliss in the color Blissful. So then I'll just be putting it just a little bit on my cheeks. Not too much. 
And for everybody's favorite, the highlight, and I will be using my champagne pop, which I use nine out of 10 times. And I'll just be using the Morphe white fan brush and um, tap it off and get to glowing. Put some on your cupid's bow, a little bit on the forehead, and then just take a little bit on your ring finger and really lightly do it on your nose. I, I do not think strong nose highlights are the best, but makeup's makeup, do whatever makes you happy. For my brows, I'll just be using the Tarte brow brush that comes with, I think it comes with the little gel compact. And I've been loving to use the warm taupe color in the Modern Renaissance palette just for a, like a natural feathery look, which is really in right now. I just outline them and lightly fill them in. And always brush through your brows just to make sure you distribute all the color and just blend it out so it's not too terribly dark and just so it's seamless. For my primer today, I'm going to use the Soft Ochre Paint Pot by MAC. I love this primer. I've been using it forever. And just putting it everywhere on the lid. It's my favorite because it has coverage in it, but at the same time, I feel like it doesn't stop the eyeshadows from blending and it's not too thick. And I'll also kind of use this to clean up my brows. To set the paint pot, I'll be using Mirage by Makeup Geek and just to set in all of the primer to make sure nothing is patchy when you put on the eyeshadow. And I'm just using a flat Sigma eye shading brush, it's an E55. For the next shade, I'll be using one of the best transition colors, which is Peach Smoothie by Makeup Beak also. I'm just putting it in the upper crease. You always wanna use a shade slightly darker than your skin tone for your transition colors, so then you're not just going in with a super dark color and having to sit there for hours blending it out and or having unblended eyeshadow. So we're going for a more neutral look today anyways, so I'm not going to go too crazy with the browns, but I'll just be taking the MAC 217 blending brush and I'll go in with another Makeup Geek shadow called Creme Brulee and, put it, and just dusting that into the crease. And then just take a clean, fluffy brush. I'm using the Morphe. None of these have numbers on it because it came in a pack, but it looks like this. It's just clean and just make sure it's not too harsh. The last color I'll be using for the top of the lid is going to be also Makeup Geek and it's going to be the color Cocoa Bear. I'm gonna put it on the outer corner and a little bit on the lash line. 
and I'm using a MAC 239 brush. I just recently purchased all of these Makeup Geek shadows and I have to say they're amazing and I definitely recommend them if you just want to make your own palettes and, put, and they are magnetic so you can just stick them in a Z palette and they're great for that. And lastly, I'll be taking Sorbet by Makeup Geek with the same shader brush by Sigma and just putting it on the top of the lid. So now to get to the more colorful side of this look, I just purchased the Sugar Pill Pro Palette and I'm missing four little colors because not all of them were in stock. So, and today I'll just be using the nice, really bright pink one. I'm going to actually be putting it under my eye and we'll see how this turns out. And to do that, I'm using a Luxie 223 short shader brush and after just rubbing off some of that pink on my wrist which is a really good trick I like to do if I don't feel like picking up another brush or if I just don't have another brush I'm going to take the bright yellow from the same palette and I'm going to put it in the center under my lid like this we're going straight to sunset today And then I'm also going to take the yellow and pop it in my inner corner. I'm going to be using this glitter today by Sugar Pill and it's part of the Neon collection and it's called High Viz. And we're just going to put it over all of the yellow parts under my eye. All of this sugar pill stuff is brand new and I can say that I really like it and all the stuff is really pigmented. Pop it in the inner corner. Be careful not to get it everywhere. And finally, I'm just going to go back in with that pink just to brighten it up. Maybe tone down the inner corner just a bit. For liner, I think I'm going to go more on the wild side and use one of the new Too Faced, the sketch markers in white, and do a nice wing. And just to make that more opaque, I'll be using the Jeffree Star Liquid Lipstick in Drug Lord, which is safe for the eyes. And I'm just going to take a Morphe M250S brush, which is one of my favorite liner brushes to use. I think I used it in my last video. And I'm just going to go over everything. Make it nice and For lashes today, I'll be using Lily Lashes in Con, and I have, and then I'll just cut them, take them off the box, and measure them on my eyes. You should do this with every lash pair, just to make sure it, they're not too big, and so they're comfortable and fit onto your, onto your lash. Usually with Lily Lashes, I have to cut quite a bit off. Same with Huda, Huda Beauties.
And a really good trick that I like to use to make sure my lashes are always on right and you can't really see in the mirror, I actually take my phone and I'll take a picture of my, my eyes down. And that way I can see maybe like an inner corner isn't on right. And just looks like they're looking good. And now I'm just going to take some Their Real Mascara just to blend in my lashes and put a little bit on the bottom. finish off the face, I'll just be using the Tatcha setting spray. And I've learned from Jeffree Star, just pretty much shower in it. Should you throw it in the back? I think we're set now. And in honor of Jeffree Star once again, I'll be using his two lips out of the five for the summer collection in Watermelon Soda and Queen Bee and don't be terrified by this color. <laughs> I'm going to take watermelon soda and just put it, just apply it normally. These smell so good, like Jolly Ranchers. And I'll take Queen Bee and just slightly dab it in the center and I'm going to blend it out so it will be kind of an ombre look, just like the, my under eye. And I'm just going to use my pinky for that. And you can just keep going back and forth with the colors until you get your desired color. And that's it. Just a fun, simple neon summer look even though summers are over but it's really fun for music festivals and anything coming up or if you just want to wear it because it's bold neon see you later guys